to try and get things settled down a little bit. A big play there on the catch and run. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he's got it all the way. He's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. That's to his running back, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. But first down, Hurts. This ball complete to Rager. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. Inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that's complete to Sanders. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one, costing At some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. He's back to throw. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Two game here in the final minute of the play. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Fielded right around the eight. And takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have a little bit of time here to get in the field goal range, not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, 
And what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And he's in for the touchdown. GG's, bro. GG's. Jeez, man. You good, you good. Bro, I was over here scared the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. They definitely mess you up on all of those. They definitely should have been picked. <laughs> Yes, sir, bro.